Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are looking at a Morrowind mod called Rhymes Absolutely Aleatory Accoutrements. It is quite a mouthful but please bear with it, it's worth it. Here is the description from the readme. It says, this mod removes clothes from all NPCs in Morrowind Tribunal and Blood Moon and replaces them with random lists that will generate those items randomly. Okay, it's not really a description as much as it is an explanation of how it's done. To put it simply, the next time you get off the boat in Sedanin, you will be greeted by Fargoth. But this time, he might not be wearing that same ugly shirt he always wears. He might be wearing a different ugly shirt. At any rate, it's going to be a common shirt. Maybe the same one as usual, might be a different one. Let me show you. Uh, to play test this mod, I've installed obviously Morrowind, Tribunal and Blood Moon. Rhymes mod comes in two parts. There is the ESM that you need to have absolutely and the ESP that you also need to have absolutely. If you don't have the ESP, basically everybody is going to be stark naked. Might be fun for a while, but not very immersive, I would say. So make sure to have both. Uh, I have this to just quickly start the game. We like Jew, but we're not here to talk to him. The reason why I have Wesley's uh, fine clothiers of Tamriel here is because Ryan was kind enough to make an add-on for his mod that uses Wesley's clothing. So those amazing shirts, robes, skirts, pants are not only going to be in the shops, NPCs may be wearing them as well. And it changes every time. That being said, Ryan was extremely careful to not make anything that would be uh, jarring or that would break immersion. Uh, Popers will still be wearing common clothing. Uh, nobles will, pe will still be wearing extravagant or exquisite clothing. Something extremely important. I have here uh, the multi patch. This one is generated by test three command. It doesn't matter which tool you use, you might use a TS3 command, you might use test tool, you might use right mash, but you need to have your level list merge. It is good practice for any Morrowind modded game, but for this mod it is particularly important. If your lists are not uh, merged, the game is just not going to work, or the mod is not going to work as intended. Let's um Go ahead and start a new game. Find out what's the fashion these days in Sedanine, shall we? Hello, Jube. Would love to talk to you, but not today. Let's go. Ready? Ta-da! There we go. That's a much better look, Fargoth. Much better, I think. I mean, I just hate that first shirt. Okay, it's a little um, different. That's different. Is that the same as the vanilla one? Maybe. Let's have a look over there. Elder Fear is wearing the same today. Let's start a new game again. You know, just to see how random this thing is. Um, now, this mod I absolutely love. Never play without it. Uh, its main advantage is that, you know, the game looks fresh. It's a bit different, especially when you have the FCOT add-on. Then it, you know, it adds the number of combinations you can have. Simple as that. It's uh, very immersive. It's not going to break your game. <sighs> Again, with that ugly shirt. Ah... Uh, Oh well, you know, what can I say? Uh, the downside is that for this mod to work, you need to start a new game. The reason for that is that Morrowind gives NPCs their item, their inventory item, when they are generated, and that's at the beginning of the game. So loading the mod after you start it is not going to do anything. Nice rope. Good choice, good choice. That is really the, the only the only problem. It's not really a problem. You just need to start a new game. That's how it is. So to sum it up, make sure you start a new game. Make sure you'll have your level list merged. Apart from that, this is something that I find really immersive. The add-on with FCOT is just brilliant. I love it. More eye candy. 
you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't refuse any of that. Um, you've probably never heard of the mod because it is on the wall floor. Wall floor is a pretty cool website, really. It's a forum, basically. Uh, where you will have a section on the Elder Scrolls and modding, but also D&D and role-playing games in general. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, do go and have a look. You will, uh, you will find some people from the Morrowind modding scene. You'll recognize them. I think that's about it. Oh no, I nearly forgot. Raim is currently working on uh, another add-on that adds more clothing and gives it to more NPCs. Uh, you can read about that on, uh, on Warfloor. I believe that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.